Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about back testing. First off, what is it? Second off, how do you do it in the Thinkorswim platform? And finally, why I think it's such a valuable and yet overlooked piece of any trading style. So to begin, first things first, what is back testing? Essentially, it's the ability to go back in time and analyze a trade that you did. Now, it lets you essentially get a redo on that trade. So I don't know about you, but regardless of the kind of trading I've done, I've blown trades all over the place, sometimes played them perfectly, but most of the time, not even close. This allows you to replay that scenario and practice it. Look at the volume, see what was going on at the time, and retry whatever your strategy is. Me, I do a lot of day trading. Because of that, I often find holes in my trading strategy that this kind of helps me to analyze how something moves. Now, going back to something I always do, I have found way more value in trading a volatile stock repeatedly rather than jumping around to tons of different stocks trying to day trade them because each stock does tend to have some kind of personality. And so for whatever reason, Snapchat has caught my eye. It's optionable, it's volatile, I can play it up or down. So it, it's a really interesting stock and it's affordable for how I structured my account. So anyways, let's talk about the on-demand feature in Thinkorswim. Now, I do wanna preface that this feature is somewhat laggy so it's not a perfect representation all of the time, but in general, I mean, if you have a, a decent PC that you're running it on, I would say this is still worth doing. So if we go up here to the upper right and click the on demand, it'll pop in and it'll just say, hey, you just started on demand. And then we're able to actually go and input a date. So I'm actually going to go back to, let's say, May the 24th. I had a trade that day, and we're going to go at 7.25 a.m. So let me explain why um, I'm going back five minutes prior to open. It's not because I generally trade uh in the gray area for after hours or pre-market this is simply because sometimes uh it takes a minute for uh thinkorswim to warm up for the on-demand feature so basically i like to start it a little bit before the actual time that i want to analyze so if i zoom in on the chart here you'll kind of see that the order flow is a little weird sometimes. Sometimes pre-market's that way anyways, but I found usually if I start the on-demand feature, you know, five or so minutes before, within that five minute time frame, it will start to catch up and run a lot more smoothly for me. So basically, you know, this gives you the option to utilize your virtual account. You'll see up here it says virtual account. So you could actually go in and um, process a trade. You know, these are grayed out currently because we're still in pre-market according to the on-demand function. But this gives you that opportunity. Again, go back and look at that day. Look at the volume. See what was going on at that time. That's something that I do a lot of is analyzing what kind of volume was taking place and how did that affect my trade? What was the price movement like? And did I actually follow through on my trading plan? Uh, I'll, I've got another video. I'll post it here um, regarding how I go about setting up a trading plan. I think it's super important that regardless of what the goal of your trading is, whether it's quick money in a short term or if it's long term, you should have some rules and things that help keep you from getting too emotionally invested to where you make illogical mistakes that shouldn't happen. Yes, it's real money. Yes, it can be high stress. But the more things that you can plan out, the more prepared you are, the less you'll lose and the more you'll win. I think that's just 
a common thing. Now, keep in mind that everybody's different too. So your trading rules and my trading rules are not likely to match. There are some things that are universal, consistency based items that you should be incorporating in your trading plan. So again, if you get a chance, check that out. But this on-demand feature allows you to go back and you can actually process trades in here through a virtual account. So I could actually go in and buy shares if I wanted to. Right now I just have my order default set to one. But keep in mind that that functionality is there. If you have questions about it or, or wanna see more videos about it in depth, let me know. Thanks and have a great rest of your evening.